Okay, here's our little notification system, a little dry run or demo. Um, pretty much it's just a web interface. Um, we can start with view callers to view everybody we've got a call. You will notice that we are in live mode right now. Now we can change that rather quickly by going to our configuration file and simply commenting out live and uncommenting demo. Quick save. You'll notice that we have our, these are our user set variables, such as your token, your API, database connection properties, and your call blast variables. So now let's go back here. Now we're in demo mode. So now we have example data we can play with. So, so it looks like Susie Smith's phone number is wrong. Let's edit it. Her pin was supposed to be one two three four, and her phone number is one two zero zero. Great. Let's see what happens if we leave the number off. Oops. Validation to make sure we put proper uh, data in our database. Also add a caller. Him. and let's delete Tim Smith. Bye bye Tim. We can view all of our call histories. <clears throat> this table is dynamically generated just based on the number of tables that are actually in the database. Um, each new call blast on a new date will generate a new table. Now when this grows it's going to be a little difficult to go to a specific date, which is why I implemented a quick calendar to allow you to go to a specific date. Because we're in demo mode, we can fire off our calls and not worrying about it actually performing the token. It does everything but. You'll notice up here, <clears throat> number of call fires to make, or CPS, how many calls total we have to make, the number of iterations to make, and the time to sleep between each one. It's calls per second, so how many calls per second. Real quickly, let's Put our demo data. Oops. Great. Let's go back here. Start calls again. See, it's changed. Dynamic based on the number of calls you have to make. No changes are necessary to be made here. It does all the calculations for you. Now, what happens if we only have, let's change it to our ports to four. So now the sleep time between each iteration is 15 seconds. Not that fun to watch. It did go once. Let's change it to 20.
Now we sleep three seconds between each one. Again, everything is dynamically generated. No need for calculations by our, co our company. All they need to do is input the appropriate data.